hello my dear friends and viewers today i will show you how to make bloom flower coasters and some designs with keychains i have some different shapes of keychain molds and four molds for the bloom coasters now i have mixed resin with the ratio of 2 and 1 if i make added 200 grams of Reason I have added 100 grams of hardener and mix it for three to five minutes very gently. Now I divide in. Make sure you always mix your resin in transparent cup like this, and you can see so you can see the bubbles. If you have some bubbles, do mix it gently again and remove all the bubbles. See these transparent these resin mixes are transparent and bubble free. So I'm going to add in. Three different cups: one, two, and three. Because I use three colors and one transparent resin. So I'm going to divide in three. One, two, and three. Right, and I'll keep some transparent resin in reserve. Use. New popsicle sticks don't use used because they will add colors and add some bubbles in your resin. So first of all, I'm going to add some white acrylic paste here. You can see this is acrylic white paste with some white mica powder. This is white mica powder. Add it. and two will be enough i think next i add alcoholic ink this is copper colored alcoholic ink remember i used first i used acrylic paint now i'm going to use ink because ink will give us transparent effect and acrylic paint will give us translucent effect so i need two different effects that's why i'm using two different mediums now i need some mica powder of same color copper and next we'll go for black here we i have black ink again i have ink some black ink and some where is yeah here some black mica powder Just pouring it. Right. Now I mix them gently, very gently. Please be patient while mixing colors into the resin because if you will in hurry, you will get bubbles in it. Very gentle, and you will get best results. One. Now black. Now white. Now it's turned to black. Right. We have mixed all our colors, and we have transparent in as well. Right. So first of all, we edge our coasters with black color. So make sure. Just pour black. Here I am going with black, right? And add some transparent in center, like this. transparent area in center there we go trans 
copper bracelet in the center and now we have white with the white we'll try to make a bloom go slowly very slowly in circular motion like this move move and move in this circular motion here we start circular motion circular motion Okay, now we have this black here. Okay, now we pour some black and white into our. We'll pour them at the same time. One side black, one side white. Here we go. Okay, and now we'll try to make some design, some swirl with obstacle. Here we go. Not much, just simple slight movement. That's it. I think we need some more vitals. Okay, I have this copper foil, sorry copper not silver foil and I add in my keychains at the edge of black and white, right, here we go, here we go. Very slight tiny pieces just to add some design inside. No, 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 yes. And let's check. We'll pour on some transparent resin just to finish it. Not much. Very little, just to cover it. Now we'll wait for 10 to 12 hours. Let them set inside, and surprise will wait for us. Into the center of these coasters, I would like to add some sparkles. For the center bloom of the coasters, I would like to add some copper crystals. Here, just add them in center. They will sit in and give it a result. Just apply in center a little bit. You may need a little swirl in that stitch. Just wait, they will sit in. Wait for 10 to 12 hours for setting and we'll get the results. And we'll get back next day. See you. Salam and hello my dear friends and viewers. I'm back. The next day after 10 hours, 12 hours, these posters are set now. Let's demold them. 
look um, i don't know what will happen yes let's see one two three and wow it's beautiful copper flower inside with white cracky effect and black background this is what a beautiful thing just tell me in comments what do you think about this result is it nice i think but i need your opinion your opinion is important for me so we can do more and more experiments and make something new and creative this is the fourth one and here we go it's great all of them are unique in design at the same time they are same in pattern but unique and different from each other this is what is required there and here i have a uh, my kitchen molds we did yesterday and let's see what the result is wow it also has cracky effect and silver go for the other one here we go with silver foil and white and black effect look at this cracky effect this also just become because of acrylic paints we have used as i told you in yesterday's video the acrylic will give us translucent effect and inks will give us transparent effect so we can see white in front just because of transparent and black and white inks and white acrylic paint this cracky effect just become because of white acrylic paint let's see what happened with this yeah and all the molds it settled down and sits just according to its own choice so all of them are same in pattern but unique in their own personality look at this and here we go for the fifth one wow what do you think just give me comments just tell me if you like them or you need an improvement or what type of videos you want i'll try to make videos according to your choice so we can make new things create together all right now what we need to do we need to finish the edges right then we will finish these kitchens as well but first of all i would like to finish the edges for this i have copper paint this copper acrylic paint i will just take some i take some as required and i would like to add some copper glitters as well because we added them here in center just to balance it i'm going to add some let's mix properly and here we go don't take too thick brush take a tip brush and a little thin so we can do it nicely paint them thickly and properly don't leave black spaces they will not look nice finish them nicely hold from sides not from the edge 
and keep on painting like this. You get nice scissors. After drying, they will become glittery. They will become a little glittery, not much, but they will add a nice finish. Thank you.